Folks, we're live in Merle's Inlet, South Carolina with Richard Myers, White Creek Rats Restaurant. What a beautiful place you have here, Richard. Awesome. Weather's Got great. A super recipe today. I mean, took a charter captain out today. Jay Sconyers caught some nice kingfish, big tiger shark. Actually, we got one of the managers from Creek Rats here right now. Will, come on over. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do at nighttime here right at Creek Rats. Well, we have live entertainment every night. Um, we're a beautiful waterfront location. Um, we have a friendly staff. We have cold drinks. And Love kids. Food. We're very kid friendly. We have a kids room where kids can come draw on a chalkboard wall or play around in the yard. Great location here. Appreciate you joining us today. We're going to get started with the recipe. And Thank you very much. Sit back and have a good time. You're going to have some good you. food. Thanks. All right, let's get started with the recipe, Richard. Let's get started real quick. We're going to do a pure ancho chili powder seasoned king mackerel. So it's very simple. Recipe, salt, a little bit of pepper, some dried mustard powder, and some ancho chili powder. A good bit. This isn't very hot. If you want it to be hot, you'd add a little bit of cayenne to it. But this is just well seasoned. It's definitely hot out right, right oh, now. 98 sweat. degrees. <laughs> I thought it was hot in my kitchen. Let me get you a little sweat. Oh, thank you very much. That's great. So you take it just like blackening. You rub it well on there. And just place it right on the grill. This king mackerel is going to take a little bit longer, so you don't want to put it on the hardest, hottest part of your grill. You want to put it, you know, where your medium heat is, about 375, 400. And these are pretty thick steaks, Harry cut here, so we're going to want to cook them about maybe four to five minutes on each side. And we're going to do that with a little bit of grilled asparagus and some mushroom caps that we got at the store earlier. Let's put okay. it down. We'll be right back with you. Let's stay on the grill for a little while, and we'll be right back. We're back live at Creek Rats with uh, Chef Richard here, and I mean, you got a salad laid out, some grilled mushrooms and... Grilled these, tomatoes. Grilled tomatoes. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. did you do anything special? Nope, just rubbed them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, put them on the grill. When the fish was about halfway done and took them off just before it was done. Now, so, tell me this, why is everybody using kosher salt now instead of just regular table salt? Uh, kosher salt has a, you know, I just, I really don't know the answer to that, Harry. I've been cooking with salt all my life, but uh, kosher salt's a new thing. It's a new trend in the, in the uh, culinary world. It's easy to control on your fingertips, but I, I just, I'm not used to it yet, so I still stick with the old iodized salt. Okay. So I'm happy with that. Well, I noticed that. That's why I asked yeah, that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not real familiar with it yet, so uh, I'm comfortable doing what I've been doing for 40 years. So. I use the same thing. Yep. So the fish well, is good. ready now? Yep, that mackerel's ready to roll. So what we do is we put out a little bit of microgreen salad, which you'll find in your refrigerator. And like I said before, these aren't hot spiced, they're just well spiced with ancho chili powder. So what I did to lighten them up a little bit, because it's going to have a real earthy flavor to it, was it's summertime and you can't go without watermelon. So I took some watermelon, fresh watermelon, ground it up, made a little watermelon vinaigrette. You can use a raspberry vinaigrette, a blueberry vinaigrette, Italian dressing. And I'm just going to lighten it up just a little bit by pouring a little bit of fresh watermelon right over the top. Now what do you put actually in the vinaigrette as far as the watermelon? It's watermelon, lime juice, lime juice, fresh mint, a little bit of uh, vinegar, white vinegar, and some oil. Canola oil I use because it doesn't have a really hearty flavor so it doesn't cover up that watermelon taste. And of course fresh mint and lime, like I said, squeeze right over the top. That is a super looking plate right there, look guys. I mean, awesome. I can't wait to try it. Another great recipe right here at Creek Rats and Captain Dave's Dockside right next door. Yep, thanks Thank for having you. me. I uh, really me. enjoyed it. Thank great you. show today. We caught some nice fish. Smaller kings, big tiger shot, good recipe. Come join these guys. Uh, we got an outdoor cooker from PCW, yep. uh, Viking, Viking Cooker. Viking Grill. Ten years old, it's been here forever. Making me sweat. We'll see you next week on Southern Saltwater.